Hey guys, we're going to do a quick little video over CWD and we're going to first start off with what it is. Uh, it's chronic wasting disease and basically it's been found within deer, elk, and moose. And basically what this will do is it is a transmittable disease. So, you know, it can be spread uh, throughout, uh, you know, your herds. Um, it's been around since the 1960s out in the West, such as Colorado, but it is starting to move towards our area in the central Midwest. Um, what I've seen and what I've uh, done studies on is I don't feel like it is going, uh, it's not going to be a, um, a disease that's going to kill off your entire herd, uh, but it will, uh, you know, definitely affect your herd. It just won't be as a faster pace, such as what they call the EHD. And I'll have another video on EHD specifically, but this one we're going to uh, primarily focus on CWD. And right now, you know, the biggest concerns uh, throughout the entire nation on CWD is when the conservation departments are coming in here with these sharpshooters. And basically what that is doing is, you know, we're lucky enough in Missouri that, you know, our conservation department understands that this is a serious um, and it potentially a long-term effect on, you know, the Midwestern deer herds. But the positive, if, if any positives, is you are able to be the shooter if so desired. Um, and the one thing that you know, you've really got to keep in mind is if you find yourself on a piece of property that you own or you lease or however it's working out there, you know, the thing that you got to keep in mind is these sharpshooters, what they're going to do is they're going to come in there and they're going to bait it up. They're going to harvest those deer either during the night or during the day, and they're not going to care what they shoot. So if you've got the ability to take initiative, harvest those deer yourself, do it. You know, whatever they, they're saying, you know, however many deer you got to get, glass each one of those deer, harvest it appropriately. You know, the time periods that they're usually doing this is going to be after uh, the season. And it's going to be where you can very well, you know, easily get confused between are you shooting a doe or a buck? So if you're able to glass harvest these deer during the daylight, make sure that those deer have not shed their antlers, um, then that's the way I would definitely recommend going. Now CWD as a whole, you know, they haven't found anything in regards to if you aid an animal that has CWD, it being harmful. I personally wouldn't recommend doing that, um, but that's not to say that I haven't ate a deer that has CWD that we just hadn't tested. You know, luckily we're in counties that uh, we haven't had to test those, our harvest in, so, in, in a T CWD uh, testing. But what, there's, what they say is an animal can be affected up to a year before they actually even see any kind of side effects of a, CD, a CWD, um, you know, uh, illness. And it is a fatal illness, but, you know, again, you can harvest a deer that's definitely got CWD, not even know it. And, you know, I don't know if we've, if I've personally done it, I've harvested a lot of deer, you know, and it's just something to definitely consider in regards to, you know, your guys' property, how you hunt and your choice, whether or not to get your deer tested for CWD. So hopefully this helps you guys understand, first of all, what CWD is, you know, how long it's been around, what animals it affects, the human, um, you know, you eating it, you know, as a human, can it be um, transmitted in into your system? Uh, you know, again, as far as I, I can tell, nothing's ever been proven that that does occur, but it is a consideration to definitely take in. So I appreciate your guys' time. Hopefully you guys like the video. And like always, hopefully you guys are getting out there in nature and best luck on your upcoming hunt.